Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. You seem to like our cinematic title reveal like we did in this video right here. So we decided to create a cool logo reveal for you guys today. Let's have a look. Okay, so first up, open up Premiere Pro and create a color mat. Right click in the project panel and select color mat, make it white and place it in the timeline on track number one. Then import your logo, preferably a PNG file and add it on track number two. Now reposition and scale the logo if needed and then right click on it and hit nest. Now open up the essential graphics panel from the window menu and create a new item. This can be a rectangle. Now make it quite small and quite long. Now make these rectangles a white color. Now if you have a white logo, then turn off the background layer until we reach our final steps in this video. Uncheck the uniform scale checkbox. Now animate the horizontal scale of the rectangle from 100 to 0. Then right click on the first keyframe and ease it out. Then right click on the last one and ease it in. Then open up the speed graph drop down and pull the lever of the first keyframe to the right side. This makes the animation start slower and faster near the end. Now duplicate the rectangle four times and place two rectangles above the original and two below it. Then offset the keyframes from the animation so that it looks like this. The rectangle just above and below the original need to start with the animation just four frames later than the original and the other two can start eight frames after the original. Now this creates an animation like this, which kind of looks like a stairs going inwards. Now duplicate the entire graphic layer in your timeline by holding Alt while dragging and we're going to switch the keyframes. So the first keyframe will become the end and vice versa. Now make sure to do this with precision so you don't mess it up. Do this for every rectangle but make sure that the timings of the animations remain the exact same. Once we've done this we will have the same animation going outwards. So a reverse version of the first one. Now this duplicate will be used as a track mat. So go to the effects panel and place the track mat effect on the logo layer. Then set the mat to the video layer with the duplicate graphics layer. Okay, so you now have this cool logo reveal right here, but let's spice it up a bit. Offset the original graphics layer about 4 frames to the right. From the effects panel, look for the basic 3D effect and drag it onto your logo. Now look for the point where the center of the original rectangle animation is gone. And here we're going to set the swivel angle to 90 degrees. Then after 20 frames, set the swivel back to 0. Again, fine tune the keyframes by easing the last keyframe. Now the logo will swirl in, making it more dynamic. But we're also going to add the same basic 3D effect to our original graphics layer now. Now in the beginning, create a keyframe with a value of 0. Then go to the end of the animation and set the swivel to about 40 degrees. Let the animation start slow and end fast by easing the keyframes. Isn't that easier to make in After Effects? Well, yeah, but do you know how it works? Do you know how to make a cool logo reveal in After Effects? No? Do you even know how to start After Effects or render in After Effects? No? I thought so. But there's a simple solution. Just head over to our website and check out our amazing After Effects class. We go over all the fundamentals to start working in After Effects. Masking, basic compositing, tracking, camera tracking, 3D tracking, whichever kind of tracking you want, we teach it all. So if you want to learn all of the fundamentals of Adobe After Effects, then head over to our website and check out our amazing After Effects class. It's not that long, so you can easily watch it in one time, and learn all of the fundamentals you need to know to start compositing, making logos, doing crazy VFX work. You can learn it all by hitting the link in the description down below. Now back to the tutorial. We're almost there, but now let's add a glitch to this. Right click in the project panel and create a new adjustment layer. Then drag that one on top of everything else in the timeline. Then apply the VR digital glitch effect to it. And now we're only going for a color glitch. So first we're going to disable the geometry distortion under the distortion tab. Then set the distortion rate to zero. Then animate the color distortion beginning with zero, then 100, and then back to zero at the end. Also animate the color evolution a whole bunch. Now to even amplify this effect, we're going to add the VR glow effect to the adjustment layer too. Decrease the luma threshold and increase the glow brightness. Then increase the glow saturation and animate the glow radius going from 0 to 150 and back to 0 again at the end. Now select everything except the white background and nest it. Because we have a white logo, we want it to pop from our background. So right where our logo becomes visible near the end of the glitch, we're going to place a cut on the original color mat 
and place the invert effect on it to make it black. We can now finish it off by making a small transition above this with an adjustment layer. We can make it bounce a bit by animating the scale. And for the glitch, we can use our super nice glitch transitions from our website. So if you're interested in awesome glitch transitions, then definitely have a look at our website. Now the good thing about this logo reveal is that you can easily replace your logo with whichever logo you want. Now I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, make sure to hit that like button and share the video. I'll see you guys next week for a new tutorial and as always, stay creative.